let's look at a situation where you have to develop a piecewise function. So in this particular case, you have a time that goes from 0 to 20 minutes, and you have a set of five different series of velocities. Anytime you see a change in um, the velocity, and it's an, like an immediate you know, uh, instantaneous jump in velocities, you create a new uh, column. So each so column B is one time interval, then you have an immediate jump from 36 meters per minute to 18 meters per minute, and that lasts for two minutes. And then there's immediate jump from 18 to 9, and then it goes through a little bit of a curve, and there's a negative 3 to negative 5 jump and a negative 5 to 0 jump. So in, now that's, that specifies all of the various uh, portions of the piecewise function. Now to create the graph, First, you're going to start by selecting all of the data. You do an insert, and you're going to do a scatter plot lines only. Now, right now, it looks like a total mess. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to edit each of these so it shows up properly in terms of the, the various uh, series. So each one of these is going to become a series. So you come over here to select data. All right, and this says that there are five, six different series, and we only have five, so I'm going to remove the last one. All right, so I'm going to go to series one, and I'm going to edit it. Now, series one runs from A2 through A5. All right, so I'm going to go here to X values, and I'm going to select A2 to A5. Then I'm going to come down here to um, the y values, I'm going to clear them, and I'm going to select b2 to b5. All right, and there's my first series. All right, we wait until that clears up. Then we select series two, and series two is this little section right here. So it's the two 18s. So a5, a6, and then and C5, C6. All right, so that gets me this series, and then the green series, and the and then the red series. All right, hit OK. We're going to go to series three. We edit, and for the x values, we want eight through fourteen, and then we're going to go through, and we want eight through fourteen in column D. Hit OK. Then we do series four, edit, what, 14 and 16, and then we want the two negative fives, we hit, and then series five, we're going to do 18 and 20. Now, you'll see I made a mistake there when I only put 18 and 20, but I really want 16 through 20. So I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to select 16 to 20, and hit OK, and OK again, and I get my, my piecewise function. So here is, there's a positive jerk, a constant velocity, a negative, a negative acceleration, and then a negative jerk. Or actually, a po that's a positive jerk as well, and then two constant velocities, and that gives me my my complete piecewise function.